Hi Virgo, here's a general look at your solar chart for August 2010. Now, although it's busy around you, uh, and you'll be busy in your head as well, you'll be considering um, quite physical sorts of things, I think, um, around material security as well. Uh, this is a self-nurturing period when you should take any chance you can to do nice things for yourself. Uh, going a bit slower and being more reflective allows your inner knowing, your your deeper self, your deeper thoughts to bubble up to the surface. Uh, also, you may be reviewing the past year, uh, or maybe the past 10 or 15 years, and pondering how well you've danced the dance of life over that time up till now. Because you're beginning to regenerate from the roots up, uh, Virgo. So when you can, potter quietly in your own little space, in your own little bubble, so as to wind down and heal. Let others take the strain, let others take centre stage and you just stand in the wings, uh, well over the first three weeks of August anyway. Many of you will be more aware of body issues at the moment, uh, material issues as I've said, considering your financial position, uh, perhaps there's something uh, that you'd like to acquire which needs a stricter budget or another source of income or something physical that you're preoccupied with. You, you might be a problem, uh, your problem or somebody else's problem, but happily abundant, protective Jupiter um, is in an area of rehabilitation, rehabilitation, regeneration for you and also it's in an area of good financial potential uh, coming to terms with how you can make that work maybe in tandem with somebody else. Also where Jupiter is, it's of you helping you to come to terms with yourself, to be more accepting about what's what your potential is, what's good about you, what your strengths are. Um, so it's about the value you put on yourself, your own best interest, and the value you put on another person and their best interest and their take on things. So Jupiter, which is temporarily in this area, means in the short term you can plan ahead from you know using that as a sort of a launch point and work on seeing beyond immediate obstacles which may be frustrating, especially over the first week, I have to say, where you can feel a bit blocked there, particularly around material, physical issues. Um, with the energies encouraging a deeper connection with yourself and your dreams for the first three weeks, use the power of your imagination to see as real the light, the, 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 the sort of things that you'd like to bring into your life in the not too distant future. And a good way to start that off might be to do some retail therapy or go in for healing activities. Anything which nurtures you, anything you like to do which raises your mood and makes you feel in harmony. Might be listening to music, might be going for a swim or a walk. Um, doesn't have to cost any money. Anyway, things tick along uh, pretty okay in that department from the middle of the second week of August. It'll just be easier for you to um, have access to those types of activities. You know, you're coming out of several years of tough love from Saturn and Pluto. Um, many of you will say, well, what did love have to do with it? But, uh, you know, it is. There's nothing in the universe designed to hurt you personally. And um, at this time, well, you need to synthesize all the pieces of yourself within and without in your outer world, which have been dislodged from their old positions and have taken up new positions <laughs> in your present life, meaning that things will be running very differently now compared to before these transits started. Um, and that's Saturn two and a half years ago, but Pluto something like 14 years ago. 
Saturn left your sign on the 22nd of July and during its long passage through your area of money, material security, material issues, um, you will uh, become more aware of the need to get better organized in that area there. Mid-month, Uranus moves back to your area of close relationships uh, for a number of months, uh, re restarting a sort of restlessness within you to change the status quo between you and someone else. Um, it could be, you know, one person, it could be several people, it could be colleagues, but uh, this is really in the air of close relationships. So things are going to be shifting here anyway. They've already done so over this long transit. I mean, Uranus has been in there for nearly seven years. Um, so that's either been out of choice or it's, uh, you know, circumstances seemingly beyond your or their control. If it's a mutual, uh, it, if changes are out of mutual personal choice, then it looks like an interesting lively time ahead when you will be looking forward to what's coming next. Um, but if it's been a condition which is seemingly out of your control, then okay, uh, roll with it. Just be experimental in finding ways to be freer and less stressed within that condition, that set of circumstances. Um, Uranus will be leaving that area uh, from spring next year. So it goes back into that area on the 13th. I don't know if I said that. Now, around the 21st, uh, there could be uh, uncertainty about health or a work situation. That's your health or somebody else's. Uh, and from the 21st, well, I think you'll be uh, moving ahead uh, quicker, uh, feeling more out there and firing on all cylinders. Now, don't forget to look up into the sky around about August the 12th, kind of around about 11 p.m. to see the beautiful meteor shower coming from the Perseids, which happens uh, this year uh, at this time. And also uh, a reminder that if you know your rising sign, listen to that too, because it'll throw a different light on what I've said here. And I'll see you the next time.